where you have to ask yourself, is what you're seeing an illusion? Let me be a bit more specific. Some of you I know are very acute viewers when it comes to this series. You'll watch closely at everything I do. But are you watching close enough? You're watching right now. My question is, were you watching close enough? Because you should have actually seen that this was in fact a blue deck of cards. Anyway, I digress. Welcome guys back to another card magic video. So, you guys have been uh, demanding this video like crazy. I'm back with more card magic and back with more giveaways. So, I'm also going to be teaching you some card magic. So, into the results of the previous giveaway that I did. We gave away quite a few decks of cards, so I want to thank you all for participating. If you didn't win, don't worry, I'm announcing another giveaway for all of you guys. So, let's get into the winners of the eight decks that I gave away in the previous video. Coming in with the red standard deck of bicycle cards is going to Yuriyamu Karishi, who has a Pepe profile picture. Go ahead, contact me in YouTube personal messages. I'll write down the winners' names in the comment section. Congratulations. Second place, winning a blue deck goes to Jake Payton. Congratulations, Jake. Third prize goes to Zuzu King, who has won the red deck. Fourth place goes to, I don't know how to pronounce this, Christian Dilawari. Again, check it in the comments. Fourth winner goes to Andy Lira. Congratulations, Andy. Winning the black smoke deck. Fifth goes to Lucas OS. Congrats, Lucas. Sixth, or sorry, can I even count? <laughs> Seventh goes to Lance Wong. Congratulations, Lance. And the last deck goes to Ace D-Man 16 Gaming. So congratulations to all of you guys. Thank you so much for participating. So, into the next giveaway. So, what I've actually done, the reason why I haven't made a card magic video in some time is because I had to uh, not spend too much money as I was already broke at this point. <laughs> Spent a lot of money on decks, but we're back with more decks. Um, we're giving away a red deck of bikes, another blue deck, another red deck, a blue, and a very special green Dan and Dave Smoke and Mirrors, uh, the army green deck. My favorite deck, personally. So, uh, if you're looking to just learn a bit of card magic, how you, you know, you can learn these tricks that I show in the video. You can pick up a deck of cards. These are professional quality, very, very, um, awesome cards, which you can pick up. So I'm giving them away. All you have to do to enter this contest is simply just comment down below. You don't need to like the video or subscribe, although I'd appreciate that. Please do. <laughs> um, but this is just a small token of appreciation to you guys out there because you guys give me so much. So this is for you. Just comment down below. Say uh, why you want a deck of cards, and that's really all you have to do. Feel free to like the video if you wish. But thank you guys so much. Uh, these aren't easy to do, so feel free to enter. What do you have to lose? <laughs> I ship these out after in the next video, so good luck to all of you out there. Now into the card magic. So what do we have in store? Well, I wanted to show you some tricks, and then I'll teach you how some are done. I'm going to take about half the cards. Okay. Give them a good mix. You can know that I'm shuffling because you can listen. Or you know that I'm shuffling because you can see. Face up, face down, face up, face down, face up, face down. Right. Now, what I need you to do is we have this order of chaos. I need you to select a card. It can be anyone. This queen, I'll go through and just say stop. Maybe right there, the ten of spades. Maybe you prefer the jack. I don't mind. 
any one of these cards. Let's say you pick uh, the 10. I'll take the 10, put it more or less in the middle. Not really. No, I need to place the 10 of spades exactly in the middle of the deck. Don't close your eyes, because when I snap, every card in this deck will go face up, except the Ten of Spades. And just like that, every card in the deck goes face up with the exception of one card. The Ten of Spades. Okay, so for this next trick, I need you to select the card. I'm going to teach you how this is done. This is one of the best card tricks of all time. Let's say you pick this card, okay? Ace of Clubs. You get the spectator to take the ace and cut it into the deck. So simple. Now watch. When I snap my fingers, one card will reveal itself to us. Your card, the Ace of Clubs. Watch. And, of course, the bus outside helps. <laughs> now, you'll see one card actually changes color. I'm doing this slowly so you can see. One card. And what was your card? Was it the Ace of Clubs? Pretty cool. So, that's all well and good. Now let's get you to say, select another card. Let's say we'll go through and say stop somewhere. Right there. Remember this card. Six of hearts. Okay, cool. Watch. The same thing is going to happen. When I snap my fingers, one card will reveal itself to us. And just like that. One second, let me... Oh, did I stop it up? Oh, well, we do have a red card actually over here. Um, down there, there we go. Okay, so I'm sure some of you might be able to figure that out if you know a little bit about sleight of hand. So let's get into the tutorial. Grab out your deck of cards and let's do it. So all you're gonna need is a red card. In this case, I've chosen the Six of Hearts, and you're going to need the Six of Hearts that you use, or your uh, duplicate. I should really just give these a mix. One sec. Okay. So, um, have both of your duplicate Six of Hearts is whatever. <laughs> Where did it go? Six of Hearts, Six of Hearts. Now this is some magic. Am I blind? Oh, there we go. Okay, so for this trick, your setup is going to have the correctly colored card here, and then the marked card, or the red card, on the very bottom. So, you have this little setup. So you go up to your spectator and say, okay, pick a card. They can literally pick any card. Um, Try not to flash that, as that will ruin the trick. Just kind of spread out, or easier, just riffle the cards and just say stop. Very rarely will they ever choose the bottom card. Um, I mean, unless they're tentiously uh, stupid, but whatever. <laughs> so, get them to pick any card, in this case, the King of Spades. Make sure that this card stays on the bottom. So, you can literally take the card from the spectator on top and just tell them to cut the cards like that now what that's just done is it's put your red six on top of their selected card so when you make the magical gesture you'll see that you know really milk this this is pretty crazy it's a color change so let them see that and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over and just clear it up like this go 
is you want to make sure that now the bottom will be the actual six that we'll get into in the second phase. So put this to the top and now you're going to do something called a double lift. A double lift is like flipping over one card but in the appearance of it being two. So there are many different kinds of double lifts. You have the David Blaine one. Um, you can simply just riffle show it like that, although that's a bit unnatural and it's kind of risky. I do a double lift where uh, I just twist it like this. Admittedly, I haven't been doing card magic as much at the moment, so it's a bit rusty, but um, it, it works fine, you know, so you'll just have to practice that. I'll give you a basic one. All you're going to do is riffle until you feel the top two cards. And that itself will take a little bit of fine-tuning, but just practice riffling to the second card. And what you're going to do is wedge in your little pinky there to get a little break. And then you're going to pick him up from the corners, and you're just going to pivot it around your thumb. And do that. And that's a really good double. It's, it's still a bit weird, but um, you can look up tutorials on double lifts. Uh, it'll take a little bit of practice, but trust me, it looks very good if done properly. These cards are actually, this they're actually kind of old, which is why uh, they don't stick together very easily. But, um, yeah, anyway, so reveal that on the double lift as a, you know, that's going to get a and that's going to get quite the reaction. So you're going to take what they think is their card and just put it to the side. And now you have your, you know, you're all set up for the second phase of the trick. So what you're going to do is do a Hindu shuffle. You're just going to do this and you can say, for them to say stop at any point. And no matter where they stop, they're going to stop in that six. So they stop in the six. You try to do it again and milk this too, and that pretend you've messed up. But then, of course, the six is there. So there we go. That is, uh, I don't really know the name of that trick, it's just been commonly known. Next one, we're gonna be teaching you a, uh, a really cool trick. Or more so, a sleight of hand. Not that, that is not sleight of hand. <laughs> uh, So now we're going to be teaching you a color change. Color changes are really pretty. They're very visual. Um, they just look really nice. And, uh, you know, they challenge people's perceptions. So the color change we're going to be teaching you is something called the Erdenes change. And it looks something like this. So let's take a card, say the Six of Diamonds. Now, on a hot summer's day here in Australia, your fingers can oh, get a bit sweaty to the point where you just change the card to whatever you want, in this case the seven of clubs. So how do we do that? The Erdenes just requires the double lift which I showed you before. Uh, again you can look that up. I mean for those that are new you can just literally take two cards This is being covered the whole time. Push it up. Slide the card out. Square and then push. So there are many very 
variations of the Udinese change. Some of them can be, uh, you know, if you're the kind of person who likes to take a lot of space, you can do that. Because there are some interesting variations. Like that one, where you kind of move your palm. The most bare bones version is just that one, but you can alternatively kind of take it out and pivot it around and then do that, which also looks very nice. So you can try even this one if you like it going back a lot so you have a lot of space in between your fingers. Some variations, you can actually just leave this here. slip 
voice that almost looks invisible when done fast enough. I usually love to just tap the cards, and that's it. You can do this each time. And every time, you just take off the top card. And that's it. So, there are our card tricks for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, tell me, you know, let me know how you find these tricks. Are they too hard? Should I make them easier? Uh, do you want to learn some more difficult stuff? Uh, more card flourishes, maybe? I think card flourishes would be very beneficial uh, for those of you that want to learn. Make sure to check out the giveaway. You know, that'll be fun. Now, next time we'll teach you how to do one of the hardest things, which is take, say, four cards, say the four kings, and just, like, change them into the four sevens. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Good night.